Hey everybody, thank you for dropping into DeFi Divi where we talk about crypto and DeFi and deep dives into projects. Uh, my name is Matthew and today we are going to talk about Hedera Hashgraph, HBAR, getting into the decentralized finance space. Uh, I came across this article today, thought it was really cool and interesting and worthy of a video. Uh, full disclosure, I am a holder of HBAR, I am long HBAR, so uh, don't let that influence whatever you hear here because, you know, if you buy it, it benefits me. So there you go. Have to get those disclosures out there. Also, as always, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just someone on the internet having some matcha, making some videos, and hopefully uh, sparking your interest so you do your own research and get into this crazy place called cryptocurrency, which is a lot of fun and can change your life. Okay, let's get right into it. This is in from Coindesk. Hedera, newly EVM compatible, woos DeFi with $155 million HBAR fund. And I quote, the network wants to attract decentralized finance projects in a shift towards retail traders. That's right, you and me. They want to attract DeFi projects that will cater to us retailers the ones who you know can't really afford to pay $500 in gas fees when we're deploying $1,000 of capital to a DeFi project just to check it out and experiment with it. Because um, that's what I like to do. I like to deploy a small amount of capital first, see, you know, kind of test out the DeFi, make sure I start to trust the project and I get I'm comfortable with the process of everything from, you know, staking or just adding funds into the to, to the lending pool, everything. I want to kind of play around in a smaller amount first before I start getting going in bigger and bigger. And that gets expensive if you're using uh, Ethereum or, uh, well, yeah, mo mostly Ethereum because there are other blockchains out there that are much cheaper now. And this is going to be one of them coming on the market. And the fees here look ridiculously low. Like, leave so much more room for experimentation. I'm really looking forward to this. Okay, let's dig in a little deeper. The latest big budget decentralized finance incentive program is coming from an unusual source, Hedera Hashgraph, an enterprise focused mainstay from 2017, known for its blockchain-like distributed ledger technology. Yeah, I like how they said blockchain-like because Hedera Hashgraph is not a blockchain. It's more like a direct directed a cyclic graph data structure. And uh, if you want to know about their consensus protocol, it's called Gossip About Gossip. And so this Gossip About Gossip consensus mechanism results in some pretty powerful transaction stats. We are looking at on uh, Hedera Hashgraph about 10,000 transactions per second gas fees of about 0 0.0001 cent USD, transaction finality in three to five seconds, and uh, carbon negative blockchain, well, not a blockchain, uh, carbon negative project at about 0 0.00017 kilowatts per hour. So those are all really impressive stats. And uh, yeah, this isn't a technical deep dive on how gossip about gossip works, but it's, uh, it's very fast, very powerful. Look into it. Google gossip about gossip. Um, it's not too hard to comprehend. It's pretty cool. They have some great um, animations on there to show how, how the uh, consensus works. And I highly recommend taking a look at it to do some further research into H by yourself. And yeah, let's get back into the article and about this incentive program that Hedera is offering. Um, Hedera will be a late entrant to the DeFi race. An official website reports that the chain currently accounts for $50 million in TBL. But popular DeFi tracking platform, DeFi Llama, doesn't list Hedera among the 83 other chains. With a gaudy incentive program and the recent addition of EVM compatibility, the HBAR Foundation is hoping to follow the same playbook used by other layer ones, such as Near and Phantom to climb the TVL rankings. Yeah, so, yeah, that's, that's key right there. So you got all the speed and power of Hedera Hashgraph and their gossip about gossip consensus mechanism. 
And now you'll be able to script up smart contracts because it's EVM compatible using the Solidity programming language, which is not my favorite, by the way. I'd rather be able to code up a smart contract in Python or JavaScript, but yeah, Python people, we're, all, we're always so picky. Uh, EVM is the, it's the language of smart contracts. Just like JavaScript is pretty much the language of the web, Solidity is the language of, of uh, DeFi. So whether I like it or not, this is good for the space because now we will have smart contract developers who have experience from working on Ethereum and working on other EVM compatible layer ones, they will now be able to jump right in and work on build apps for Hedera. And it's going to cost them practically next to nothing in fees to do so. So that, that's great news. It's really great news. Uh, and I quote, in an, in an interview with Coindesk, HBAR Foundation Director Elaine Song said that $60 million of the fund is allocated specifically as liquidity mining rewards for decentralized exchanges, while the remaining funds will be used for infrastructure-focused grants. In some ways, the fund signals a strategy shift for the developers of the change. And I quote, Hedera has always been focused on enterprise, and even within the enterprise, focused on discrete use case, which is efficient distributed ledgers and throughput. Yeah, a lot of their use cases have been um, fully enterprise focused, like being able to have a private, private ledger. So, you know, not the entire world can see all your transactions, which makes sense in business. I mean, if you're a business owner and let's say you have part of your competitive advantage is a relationship you have with a supplier and not only the relationship you have with a supplier, but the deal you have with that supplier, you know, where you're sourcing your product from. And so if in part, that's, that's part of the barrier to entry and your competitive advantage. And if all that, that data is made public on a ledger, then you're giving that up to the whole world. You're giving away your competitive advantage. Oh, well, now everyone not only knows who my supplier is, but what kind of deal I'm cutting with them. So there's some things you're just gonna wanna keep private on a, on, a, on a ledger, but you still want it decentralized and secure. So that's what HBAR is offering. That's been their main focus, but now they are broadening their scope because they're, they're saying right here, I would, I would hesitate to call it a pivot, but it's broadening our scope and taking what we've learned in the last two years and reshaping it in a way that's meaningful and usable by the average retail user, said Song. So yeah, they're not, they're not pivoting to uh, support us retail DeFi users, but they're broadening their scope so we can be included. I think that's fantastic. Very cool. Uh, yeah, I really thought this was a cool article and sort of supported by this one back in October of 2021. Uh, USDC was added to, hash, to Hedera Hashgraph as Enterprise Mited Network, Eyes DeFi. Yeah, so USDC is on Hedera, which makes sense. You need to be able to convert to stable coins and provide liquidity pairs. And so I can see USDC HBAR being a liquidity pair now and all these upcoming... DeFi protocols that will be built on Hedera Hashgraph, which is exciting. It's going to be so cool. I'm looking forward to not only how fast it works, but like the fees um, will be so low that us retailers can get in there and experiment and play around. And it's only going to cost us fractions of a penny until we really feel comfortable with the system enough to where we're like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll deploy some real capital here. I'll, I'll deploy some capital to this lending pool or I'll, you know, stake some liquidity do some liquidity providing and put some pairs into the pool. Oh yeah, also I, I should disclose this. I don't know if I said this at the beginning of the memory. I'm having uh, ADD right now since this caffeine's kicking in. Uh, I am long on HBAR, I own it. So uh, full disclosure, I'm an owner of HBAR and you should know that if you're new to crypto or investing, that means that since I'm long on it, if you bought a bunch, that might benefit me. So. Be aware of that while watching this video. And uh, I can't tell you to buy any because that would be financial advice and I don't give financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but hopefully this video will spark your interest enough to do some of your own research in HBAR and then make a decision yourself on whether or not this could be one to add to your portfolio and if maybe you'd be interested in, in um, deploying some capital on these DeFi projects when they when they come down the pipeline. So yeah, that'll be exciting to see. 
Um, you have lots of lots of big investors in this project. We have uh, not only does uh, Hedera have tons of VC capital behind them, and they're owned by some of the biggest enterprises in the world, but also just big name investors that we've all heard of have invested in this. People like uh, Kevin O'Leary. So, like you know, if Kevin O'Leary invested in this project. He, he didn't just like look at, at the LinkedIn profiles of the team and think, oh, yeah, this looks like they're pretty good. These are software developers, and I see them on LinkedIn, so they look real. No, he probably flew from Florida to where the team is, met individually with each one of the leadership, met with the engineers, took them out to several team lunches. He, he's the that's the type of investor that he is, and so he's in this project. He's invested in HBAR. I thought that was really interesting. Um, so lots of, lots of big names in on this one. Uh, I'm looking forward to more, more from Hedera and especially in relation to decentralized finance and focused on us retailers. I love that. Um, okay. I think I'm going to wrap this one up for now. As always, not financial advice. And I hope you have an amazing day. Okay.